Roger. Didn't run into too much trouble coming out here, I hope. Some blood bugs chased me halfway across the Commonwealth, but I made it. Yeah, those things can be pretty territorial. Glad they didn't catch you. Since you traveled all this way, how about a quick tour? Right this way, if you please. I'll show you what we've been up to here at the Warwick Homestead. You probably saw the mute fruit on the way in. It's been a real bumper crop. We've come through some tough times here, I don't mind telling you. This place used to be a sewage treatment plant. We think that's why the soil here is so fertile. I'm not sure how long these metal structures are going to last, but they seem to have weathered the elements pretty well so far. You got the seeds? Good. I'll take those. Listen, I need your help. The whole operation's in danger of being exposed. Why? What happened? I think my foreman, Bill Sutton, suspects what I really am. He's been spying on me and having secret conversations with our farmhand, Cedric. Now, he's starting to work on my wife and kids, trying to turn them against me, too. Your incompetence has jeopardized the entire operation. Jesus, what a mess. You really screwed up. Look, I'm on my own out here. I've got no backup and no support. I'm doing the best I can. Anyway, there's more to it. Cedric's banished. Bill says he had to visit a sick relative, but I think he went to get help. Someone must have seen where he went. I have an idea about that. If Bill's taken June and the kids into his confidence, he might have told them what he's planning. Right now, they're too suspicious to talk to me about it, but they've got no reason to suspect you. Just remember, Bill's got them all pretty scared. It's not gonna be easy. Well, hello. Sorry, mister, but I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend of your father's, and I'm here to help him. Oh, good. I'm really glad you're here, because I'm scared something bad is going to happen to my dad. Foreman Bill said dad's a sin. That's like a robot. It looks like a real person. Foreman Bill said he had an idea to take care of our synth problem. He gave Cedric some caps and said I'm a good neighbor. I wish they would just leave my dad alone. Toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Huh? Don't have no handouts. I want to know what you and Bill Sutton are planning. Yeah? What's it to you? Bill Sutton has lost his mind, and now an innocent man might get hurt. I know Bill Sutton a lot better than you. And I know he ain't crazy. We've both seen some things that don't make sense. We just want answers. Thing is, I don't see how any of this is your goddamn business. Unless, maybe Roger put you up to this. Tell you what, though. 
Maybe we can help each other out. If I've learned anything here, it's that information's got a price. Just like everything else. I got no particular loyalty to Bill Sutton or to Roger Warwick. So make me an offer, and let's see what happens. I know you're in a tough situation here, but lives are at stake. Please help me. Or perhaps we should use a more forceful method of persuasion. Bill isn't the only one who's afraid. People all over the Commonwealth are talking about this institute. But maybe you're right. Maybe we are letting that fear get the best of us. Oh, truth is, this whole trip was a damn fool idea, if you ask me. Bill hands me a fistful of cabs and says, Go to Good Neighbor. They got all kinds of shady characters there. Find us a mercenary. So I'm supposed to find some contract killer, like I know how, and then hire him to take out Roger. First I agreed, but now I'm thinking to hell with Bill Sutton. I'll just stick around here for a while. Of course, he's probably figured out that I ain't coming back. Might just take matters into his own hands. As frightened as he is, the man's capable of just about anything. Everyone will know the real Roger Warwick is dead and gone. But he's right here, Bill. Bill, thanks a lot. You're for insane. Telling Please, I'm begging you. Let's just talk about you. this. What are you talking you. about? You. I know you're part of this. You probably killed the real Roger, so this thing could take his place. Maybe if you stopped acting like such. There's no need for violence here. Let's talk things over. You're stalling. You're gonna try to talk me down, and then when I'm not expecting it, you'll get the drop on me. Who the hell are you anyway? I'll tell you who you are. You're one of them! You show up out of nowhere, have your secret chat with Roger, and the next thing I see, you're up looking for Cedric! That's right, I figured it out. I know you're up to something, and I ain't gonna trust a word you say! Do you really want to leave these children without a father? Their real father's long gone! And I'm guessing you people had a hand in that. So what do you plan to do, stranger? Are you ready to take a bullet for a synth? If it means protecting innocent people from a madman, yes. A madman? Is that what you think I am? I... I know what I've seen. At least... I think I do. What else could explain it? None of you believe me, do you? Am I really crazy? I don't know. I was so sure about Roger. Jesus, what if... What if I'm wrong? What if I was about to... Right in front of June and the kids? I have to leave. I'm sorry. I need to sort things out. I've lost sight of things. Bill was a good man once. I don't know what happened to him. You okay? Yeah, mostly. I thought for sure I was a dead man. You were careless. You let your guard down, and it almost got you killed. I know. I just... I guess I was hoping we could convince Bill he was wrong. I guess I didn't realize how desperate he was. You can tell our mutual friends that I'll get those seeds in the ground and have a report ready soon. In the meantime, you'll be safe out there.
Nice work bringing that rogue cynic back. Greetings, sir. Welcome to the commissary. Would you care for food? Hi, mister. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. I delivered the seeds. The good. I trust everything went smoothly. Yeah, pretty much. Splendid, splendid. Here you are, then. Something to aid in your future missions. Courtesy of the Bioscience Division. That will be all. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Isaac. Most men lack the patience to observe and document plant growth. I was surprised when father named you. As his successor, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. That kind of insubordination can't be tolerated. Have they made any demands? Not yet, but I expect they'll demand that you renounce all ties to the Institute. Maybe I can reason with them. I believe I can help with that. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. Use violence only as a last resort. Here we are. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked.
with something. Made it past the guards. Mm. Impressive. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. I know you're angry, but there's a better way to handle this. Oh, you're wrong. You see, I've tried talking. For years, I've suggested that we do things differently here, but nobody listens. Let's see if anyone can afford to ignore me now. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? I'm sure you mean well, but you must see that it's an impossible task. Maybe, maybe not. All I'm asking is that you keep an open mind. I'm sorry, but our minds are made up. Both Dr. Loken and I have resolved to stand our ground. Can't you at least give me a chance? A chance? Hmm. What do you think, Max? Even the most fastidious researcher must sometimes take a leap of faith. I say let's give it a try. Very well, then. Open the door. Let's return to the fold. to succeed, Father. Bravo! I admit I was fearing for the worst, but I can see that I underestimated you. I'm starting to get used to that. I apologize. I won't doubt you again. There is one further matter to discuss. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be taken here. The question of what form it takes is up to you. Put them on probation. Limit their access to quarters and non-working areas. That's more than fair. I'll see to it that everyone's notified. Good decision. Those men could still have a lot to contribute. They just need to learn their lesson. I'll take that holotape back. I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression of gratitude. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. Identified 